for the most part, describing big numbers in terms of millions, billions and trillions works just fine, but sometimes it's good to have a special name for a particular large number. One day in 1920, American mathematician Edward Kasner was walking with his nephews, nine-year-old Milton Sirota and his brother Edwin, by the Palisades, the cliffs that line the Hudson River in New Jersey. Kasner got talking to them about numbers and how big they could be, as big as, say, one followed by a hundred zeros. Writing later in Mathematics and the Imagination, published in 1940, which he co-authored with James Newman, Kasner recalled, Milton was very certain that this number was not infinite, and therefore equally certain that it had to have a name. The name he came up with was Google. Perhaps he was thinking of Barney Google, a character in a cartoon strip, which had first appeared in 1919, the previous year. Or perhaps he invented it himself. Anyway, at the same time, young Milton suggested Googleplex for a number that was even bigger. Kasner wrote, A Googleplex is much larger than a Google, but is still finite, as the inventor of the name was quick to point out. It was suggested that a Googleplex should be one followed by writing zeros until you get tired. This is a description of what would happen if one actually tried to write a Googleplex, but different people get tired at different times and it would never do to have Carnera, a heavyweight boxing champion, a better mathematician than Dr. Einstein, simply because he had more endurance. Kasner offered a more precise definition of a Googleplex as one followed by a Google number of zeros, or 10 to the power Google. Whereas a Google, albeit hard to imagine, is easy to write out in full, a Googleplex is sensationally larger. There isn't enough paper on Earth, or come to that, matter in the entire observable universe to write out the digits of a Googleplex, not even if you wrote each zero as small as a subatomic particle. The Googleplex is unimaginably large. Mention Google or Googleplex and most people will instantly think of the search engine, or the place where it's now headquartered. In 1996, the founders of what would become Google, Stanford PhD students Larry Page and Sergey Brin, were working out of a makeshift office, a garage, rented to them by a mutual friend and future YouTube CEO, Susan Wasiki, in Menlo Park, California. They'd called their prototype search engine Backrub because it analyzed the web's backlinks. But as their search technology rapidly improved, they sought a more commercially appealing name for the new product. In September 1997, Page and his office mates held a brainstorming session complete with whiteboard in Susan's garage to think of something that would work, a word that captured the idea of indexing a huge amount of data. One of those present, graduate student Sean Anderson, suggested Googleplex, which Page immediately shortened out loud to Google. Anderson sat at his computer terminal, checked the internet domain registry to see if the name was still available for registration and use, but making the mistake of thinking that the word was spelled Google, with G-L-E at the end, he checked google.com instead of google.com and found it to be available. Page liked the name and within hours had registered google.com on behalf of himself and Bryn. Interestingly, if the original inspiration for the name was the cartoon character Barney Google, that is spelled Google, G-O-O-G-L-E, so perhaps things came around full circle. The search engine name is certainly suggestive of the immense volume of data involved in web indexing, I'm not sure of the current statistics, but in 2017, Google reported that it stored information on about 30 trillion pages. 
At that time, Google, Microsoft, Amazon and Facebook, between them, held at least 1,200 petabytes. That's 1.2 times 10 to the 15 bytes of data, a figure that's rising fast. If Google were to maintain its average annual rate of growth in indexing over the next few centuries, which is highly unlikely, it would have indexed a Google Pages by the year 2698.